Hey guys, Bruno here. Welcome back to Fishing North Atlantic. Here we are back in our Arctic Pioneer. Back out, going to do a bit more fishing, but this time we're going to do 2,000 hook long lines. So let's get um, someone out here. Where's Rudy? Rudy, there. Let's get Rudy out here to prepare some gear. Let's set up a autopilot course. So six and seven days ago, so it seems like the redfish could be travelling this way. Maybe like that. Let's um, set this up. I just put in 50, press OK, and it goes max speed. Let's try out our first long line. So hopefully this does a bit better than our net fishing that we did last episode. Um, and hopefully we won't run out of um, out of fuel and end up having to tow and losing a shit ton of money like we did last episode. So here comes Rudy. Come on, buddy. Need to get out here. So I'm thinking, um, we've got, what do we got on board, 59, I think if we throw out maybe 20, 20 long lines with krill and just see what happens, see if we can fill up the boat with 20, uh, we might, we might not, but you know, we've got to start somewhere, we might as well test out 20, if it fills the boat with 20, maybe we can drop back to, you know, 15 or 18 or whatever, doesn't quite fill it with 20, maybe we can bump it up to 25 or 30. Um, sort of whatever's going to get us to that point of having a full boat. There's no point in not getting our boat full. So I think that's um, certainly what we need to look at doing. Make sure we're getting our boat full every single time. What I might do is grab a bit of a screenshot here because this... Um, This is actually a beautiful view. Just this. I don't know what it's called. The Borella Morales or something. I don't know. I think it's a weird name, but it looks beautiful. So there's something I want to go and see in person. So the sonar seems to be a little bit touch and go sometimes. But I'm hoping we can um, get through it with the sonar, where is it, there's another sonar here, but, oh, that one's working as well, so that's good, just when the boat moves, our cursor moves as well, alright, there we go, it's a shame he's behind us, because we can't actually see what he's doing, we need like a TV screen, I don't know, like up here, so we can actually see what the guy behind us is doing, maybe even like a, a camera up here somewhere, so we can change the screen and actually see down the side of the boat, so we can actually make sure we're lining up our, um, our boys and stuff probably would be another good thing to sort of add to a boat like this. It's a beautiful boat though. I definitely want to look at um, heading into crab fishing and lobster fishing really really soon. Maybe next episode I'll try and get into the lobster fishing. Um, depending on how this haul sort of goes, we can use this boat for lobster fishing. But I also want to look at um, either the Saga, I think it's the Saga or Northwestern or whatever it may be that's actually um, one of the crab fishing boats in this game. Definitely want to look at um, either one of those as our next sort of big purchase, as our next big boat. I think from what I've heard at the moment, um, trawling still seems to be a little bit buggy. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm just going to have a quick look at... Um, the ships and see uh, what th I'm thinking of. Uh, there's a couple of crab boats there. At the northwestern is six and a half million. Ninety snow crab. Uh, where's the next one? It's here somewhere. Oh, the Nova Scotia is what eight, nearly nine million, um, and the Scarlet, which is actually the, um, the Saga, is five million. It's got fifty-five crab pots on board. So I definitely would rather go with the the Scarlet or the Saga. I just like the way the boat's set up. I think it's definitely a little bit better than um, what is it, the Coastern? Yeah, the Coastern, which is a Northwestern. I just like the way it's it's set up. Come on, let's go. Why are we stopped? 
Put your foot down. Hey, there we go. I don't know if it's the um, the autopilot or is it me? Autopilot should keep it at a set speed. Right, so let's throw out one more long line. And as I said, what I'll do is I'll throw out 15. So I'll I'll put a bit of a cut um, in the episode. Bring you guys back when we're ready to start um, pulling in some long lines. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back in a second. Right here, guys. We're back. Just about ready to go and pick up our first line. It should be uh, blue. It is. If I zoom in my binoculars. Ooh, half a tank of fuel. That's concerning again. I have no idea what does that say. Yeah, I don't know if that's English or not. I can't read it. Right, so let's um look at our workers. So Thomas, long line is good. Isaac is better long lining. So let's go Isaac, you can long line. Uh, Thomas, machine gutting. Thomas can machine gut. Who's better, Pearl or Rudy? Rudy's better at machine gutting, so she can go and cook, I think, just to, you know, give us something to do. Let's go and try and pull in our first line and um, see what we get. Hopefully we can bring some fish onto the boat. That would be um, wonderful if we could. See, now I'd like a camera over here that I can look at because as far as me lining this up, it's probably not going to be good trying to do it from this angle. That's why I always try and use the outside view. This makes it so much easier. I actually want to slow down. I don't want to go flying past this thing like I have with a lot of them a lot of the other times. So let's um, slow down a bit. Should be alright. Should be able to reel that one in. Perfect. I actually shut down the boat. Let's go and have a look and see what he's actually bringing in. There she is down there cooking away. Beautiful. Everyone's busy doing something. I wish we could sprint though. That's the only thing I wish we could do. I know you should be running on a boat. Not while you're out in the middle of the ocean. But I wish I could sprint. So there's plenty of fish on that line. I just hope he... Um, can bring him in all right. Take a couple of screenshots of him bringing the fish on board. Beautiful. These guys are standing here going, hurry up mate, come on, we've got things to do. We've got some redfish and some cod that I've definitely seen come on, some more redfish again. I'm still not a fan of the way the fish flop around, but they look like they've really Googly eyes. What's that? Uh, uh, a pollock or something. Or haddock, I don't know. Still can't tell the difference between those. I know we don't get any silver hake from these lines, which is a bit of a bummer. Still, the fish are still disappearing a little bit. Oh, there you go. He's going to fall through the bottom. Oh, it's a little bit disappointing, but... All these little minor things, which aren't really much, I guess. Just a visual thing. Hopefully they're going to eventually fix them. Get it to look a little bit more realistic. Like maybe when they flop it in, maybe it just sticks to the ground. Or even just have it as a visual flop. And then it they can just make it build up with all different fish species as it gets a bit fuller. Or actually have them floating around like that. This looks like a big cod, this one. Right, that big cod. Look at it. Oh, it's gone. Never mind. Right, so he's got a couple more to reel in. Let's try and get another screenshot. Oh, yeah. oh come on. He missed the last one. 5,400 kilos. That's not really that good. It's alright. It's better than what we're getting with the bloody nets, that's for sure. We were really struggling with those nets. Definitely some crab down here. We shouldn't be seeing crab though, because it's not crab season, so... I don't want to go crab fishing... ...or lobster fishing outside of the normal season. 
I just think that's going to bring extra drama that we don't really need to try and find at the moment. So I wonder if I can actually go... Uh, if you go resting, can I haul this in myself and get better, better amount of fish? I mean, I don't want to be doing this every single line, but I'll just test it out and see how we go. Yes, I can. Okay, good. See how much more I get than what he actually got. If I can actually get at least goods and perfects and not okays or misses. I think it's still a little bit more difficult than Barrent C version, which is good. There we go. It's got to leave it a little bit longer, but if you leave it too long, you'll miss it. Beautiful. That's two perfects in a row. The thing I wish is that I actually follow the fish at the centre of my camera. Like where my little cursor is in the middle there, the circle, it would actually follow the fish up. Instead of just look completely the other way. Plenty of bloody redfish on these lines though. I really didn't think we'd get this much redfish. I was trying to try I was trying to get, you know, a bit of everything, that's why I wanted the bait that was I know it was a little bit heavier towards redfish than the other the other species, but I was hoping we'd get you know a fairly even amount of fish on board. I guess we'll just have to wait and see when we've um reeled them all in, see what we've actually got on board. Only a few more to go. So that's actually goes to perfect and back to good, which is Okay, so if you miss it a little bit, you're not going to completely miss the fish. Two more to go. Looks like there's a big fat cod right on the end. Well, that was only okay. The cod was where all the weight's at. Perfect. Uh, 9,000. That's pretty good. But we'll bring him back out and we'll let him keep doing it though. So that's helped a little bit. I got an extra, you know, 4,000 kilos or so compared to him, but, you know, it's all, all going to take time for our guys to level up a little bit. So we've got cod, 269 cod, we've got nearly 1,500 redfish. Actually, we did get some silver hake. That's perfect. Uh, what bait do we actually have? Krill. I'm going to remember that because I didn't think, I wasn't getting any silver hake at all when I tried it previously uh, with other boats, but I know the update should have allowed us to be able to get Silver Hake, so I'm going to shut the boat down each time we actually stop here because I don't want to run out of fuel. I think we're just going to go to the nearest port, whatever the prices may be. We'll just, we'll just go there because I don't want to run out of fuel again. I know fast travelling, but using the map uses 50% more fuel. I'm not sure about fast travelling as well. But I don't want to, I don't want to run that risk again. Well, that's a perfect, good job, buddy. Good job. It's still a weird animation these guys are doing. Another good. We hide the HUD. Can we actually see? No, we can't see. Unless it was only an OK, I think. I keep getting messages up here. So once I finish hauling this line in, I might put in another cut and I'll get the rest of the lines hauled in up to the last line. And I'm going to bring you guys back and then we'll head to port and hopefully make some good bloody money. That would be ideal. Still got a little bit more to, to bring in. It just takes, I think it probably takes them as long as it takes me to be honest, but I think I can just get a little bit more weight out of it. But as I said, we'll work out what we've got at the end. If I've only got, you know, 100,000 or 15 lines, maybe I'll throw out, I don't know, 25 lines. Because I've got a total of 60 on the board, on, on the boat, so... I don't know. We'll work it out. We'll get a rough idea. But it might be different next time, too. If we throw another 15 lines, we might actually get a full boat. We might get less than what we got this time. So it's kind of just 50-50, bit of hit and miss, depending on where you are and that sort of stuff, so... Still a lot of people reporting bugs saying that they can't get any fish at all anywhere. 
Um, I haven't had any dramas. The only drama I did have is I was in the port up here, Lundberg, and I went and started fishing here. I got absolutely nothing, which is fair enough. I don't think, you know, there's nothing indicating there's any fish there at all, whereas down here, there's actually indication that there was red fish here, like, you know, eight days, six days ago, and the tuna down here. So I think if you're not going to get a, re a decent indication, you might just end up with low population wherever you sort of go, or no population. So you just got to try and find the right spots, I suppose. I haven't had any dramas finding the fish, except for that one little spot when I did a little test run. I only threw out, like, three nets or something, and absolutely nothing out of all three, but... That went... Did that fish literally go flying? Looked like it did. Right, so last one. Don't miss it. Oh, that's an okay. Come on. 7,800, that's pretty good. Can't complain. Right there, guys, as I said, I'll pause the video here, put in a cut, and I'll bring you guys back when we're up to our last long one. Right here guys, we're back. So we're coming up on our last long line here. Um, we've got just under 100,000 kilos, so not too bad. So maybe 20 lines. If this guy gets a little bit better, he's missing quite a few actually. So if we had like 20 lines, then he got a few more goods and perfects, I think that would be perfect. Um, I just think he's um, he's missing quite a lot actually. He's actually already gone off and had a bit of a nap while I come down and started long lining for him. He had something to eat and he's come back out to work. Um, same as um, our other guy over here. Uh, what's his name? Thomas. Thomas Moore as well. Was he a long line guy? No, Thomas isn't. It's definitely Isaac's our long line guy. So we've got um, 48,000 fresh, 45,000 gutted. So actually... Um, Getting through it all. Slowly. Right, let's um. Oof. It's a little bit laggy at the moment, too. Let's um, go to the roof. We can overlook from up here. And I think these. Oh, you see, you missed another one. These lights need to be changed a little bit. They're a little bit too bright in certain spots like that. It's really shiny. These, they need to be dulled down a little bit. Uh, what's happening here? There you go, he's missed. Something's happening here, it's not... The line's not coming in, but he's still... I don't think I can, I can't move him, can I? God, I hope it doesn't play up on the last line. Oh, it's been going good till now. So it's your fault. It's you guys, it's, it's all your fault for coming back and watching. I don't know what's going on here. It's really weird. I was going to say, what's this? But no, she's down here cooking again. So she was out um, doing a bit of machine gunning. She's come back in to do a bit of cooking, try and get some food ready for, for both her and the other boys. This looks like the line's not actually coming in. Is he still swinging? Keep swinging. There we go. I don't... No, he keeps missing them. But whatever. Who cares? Just don't stop on me now because I've spent literally like an hour or so uh, putting these lines in and pulling them back in, and I don't want to have to start all over again. Just our last line. Like, why is all of a sudden it starting to have an issue? This doesn't look like it's actually reeling the line in. Like, that's weird. Did you press, did you press the button, or did you forget to press the button? Excuse me. Excuse me. Here he is. I'm talking to you. Ah, uh, well, here we go. Hey, it's coming now. See, see, you just had to turn it on. Which would you stop bloody missing them? Like that. That's that's money that you just throw back in the ocean. Just wait, wait for it to come closer. Not yet. Not yet. Wait. Wait. No, too early again. God damn it. How many more we got? Five, I think. Another five. Just, just wait. Here, press the button again. See, it's coming. Just no, wait. Oh, that's it. I can't stand it. Ah, oh, let's go back up. And we'll, we'll just wait for him to miss the rest of these. 
Unbelievable. I mean, the people we've got to work with. Seriously. Come on, buddy. You might as well miss the rest. I don't think you should get any food. Nor should you get paid. Terrible performance today. Ah, oh, Isaac, what are we going to do with you? He's got some good long, long line hauling skills, but he's just... He's sucking at the moment. Come on, there's only like two left. Hurry up. Hey, Pearl's leveled up in the cooking. Woohoo! She's now level four, I think. Which is only cooking one every, what, two and a half hours? So, yeah, it takes her longer to cook than it does for me. Come on, there we go. Yeah, nothing. Good. Who cares? Go to bed. You can keep cooking. Uh, let's have a look at prices. We're going to go either to Dennis or Lockport. Let's have a look at who's got the better prices. Uh, Lockport. Redfish, $1.23. So, seven, four, one. Oof. Oh, jeez. Lockport is seven dollars for Pollock. Dennis Point. If we go to Dennis Point and sell a Lockport, sell Pollock and Haddock. Yeah, Pollock and Haddock. Yeah, Pollock and Haddock, and then sell the rest at Dennis Point. All right. Okay. Let's go. Go to Lockport. Straight through here. We'll sell the rest at Dennis Point. Let's make sure we get fuel before we leave. Oh, I don't want to do that again. These guys will eventually get tired. Uh, let's see how they're going. Oh, they're still smashing it out. So we'll let them stay there for now. There you go. Thomas is too tired to work. Um, so you can come and help. I think I'll wait for it to actually get to the gutting. See, how's Isaac? Isaac's resting. We should make him cook as punishment. Yeah, you go and cook as punishment. It's not good enough. Alright, 13 kilometres. How are we going on fuel? Ah, we've got plenty of fuel, we'll make it. So I don't know if they're actually doing anything. No, they're not until they actually get there. So don't fast travel until they're actually there. They she'll... Where are, you? Oh, so where are you going? You're not going in there. Get back over here. There you go. So she'll start moving out. He'll go in here. Let's go. He'll go in there and he'll start doing his thing. Wish you guys would shut the door. Let all the cold air in. Right, so once he gets there... There we go. Now we can f skip a bit of time. They might be idle by now, so once we get here, we'll stop. Um, Alright, there's... Did they... Oh, I thought they hit each other then. Hey, look out! You idiot! Oh, smack. Yep, good job. Great job. See, the things I've got to put up with, seriously. Um, I'll put these guys in certain spots. So he's just about to finish cooking that meal, so he can... He can stay there and finish. Everyone else can have something to eat. You can cook and not eat as punishment. Being so bad. Alright, let's go to Lockport. Okay, so... We'll dock here. Fish, sell fish, yes. This does happen to pause at times. It never actually crashed on me, but it has gone really, really slow at times like this. Hopefully it won't take too much longer. It does get a little bit worrying when it takes this long. I don't really want to have a crash right now because you still can't save out at sea without losing your crew members and stuff. So I don't want to go losing how far we've come. Come on, hurry up. I might go and have a, I might go and have a sleep and, and come back. Maybe I'm getting punished for punishing the other guy making him cook. Oh, there we go. Alright, 
so none of those. So that's up high. That's up high. Good. Um, sell that. Beautiful. Let's buy some more fish. Fish. Let's buy some more fish. Yep. Let's buy some more fish. Oh, get some more fuel. Right, and then let's head to Dennis Point. 17 minutes. Not too far away. And this guy's not skillsy. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go save. Just in case. Let's go into here and have a look at our logbook and our sales. So, we sold Haddock and Pollock plus 17% for gutting. Good job, guys. Um, got an extra $1,000 nearly. And we paid our crew 16000 which isn't too bad. Like, that's not anything to be worried about. So we're a sea hand here in Dennis Point. I'd like to get all of them up as high as we can. We're just going to need to travel. I don't want to go traveling too far to sell, but if we're going to fish down here, we need to sort of go somewhere. See, that's that's still pretty pretty bad. Let's go fish prices. Yeah, dollar ninety four. Ah, it's bad, isn't it? But it was even worse at the other place. So, I mean, it's better than nothing. Now I've clicked on sell catch again. It's going to give us another bit of a freeze. Don't know what the issue is there. Um, another hundred eighty thousand. We're up to Kinder Fisher. Let's um quickly go into the bar. Any tips? We don't care about tuna. Not worry about missions either. I want to purchase some more fuel to make sure. I think, um, yeah, I've got those upgrades. I think I've got all the upgrades, actually. Engine, radar, auto fishing quota we haven't got yet. But that's probably actually worth it. Um, for this boat, 300,000 for 30% is probably worth it. Boy, gutting. We've got gutting machines times two. Searchlight and thruster. I did buy the, th I did buy the thruster, but now it's not there. Gotta worry about it this time. Um, let's go to the bank. We've got to repay our loan, pay off both, and we're back in debt again. Nearly. Ugh. Painful. All right. How much is it going to cost to get us to go lobster fishing? Only twenty thousand. So what I'll do, guys, is I'll save here again. I might um, skip through and have a look at lobster fishing for next episode. I'm going to test it out and see if I can get it to work. If I can, I'll bring that to you guys next episode. If not, I guess we'll come back and do a little bit more long line fishing and try and actually fill the boat next time. Make a bit more money and um, save up for that crab boat. So if you guys enjoyed this one, as always, smash that like button. Leave a comment, let me know what you think of the series so far. And if you're happy to see the cuts or you prefer to see time lapse of me setting lines and hauling in lines, let me know. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been pretty thanks for watching. See you again soon.